Hi, it's David Urban Astro, and this video is probably going to be fairly short. It's a video about an observatory that I had the pleasure to go visit that is so uniquely done that I felt that I needed to at least introduce you to it. Uh, I took no video, I just took some pictures, so I'll just kind of go over the pictures that I took and just kind of let you know that I am still pondering in my head how I'm going to build this thing, my own observatory, and I've got some trips coming up where we're going east to visit family, and so I will not be able to really dedicate time to begin work on the observatory until mid-July, and so that's what I will be working on once I get back. And so I have a series of videos about my Skywatcher 6-inch Quattro uh, 150p telescope that I've been working on and working on getting it ready for first light. So you'll see a bunch of those videos, at least a couple of those videos, until I return. So just to give you a heads up. So the last video that I put out regarding uh, some of the things that I was thinking about for the observatory, a fellow astrophotographer who lives here in the Phoenix area, his name is Ray, reached out to me and he invited me to come up and to take a look at his observatory. Now Ray has been doing astrophotography and visual photography for a very long time. He has a large range of telescopes. He has 10 inch daub, 16 inch daub. He has uh, 8 inch newt. Uh, he has a couple SETs. Uh, he's got two Razas. He's got, a, I think it's an 8 and an 11 inch Raza. Um, he's got a couple refractors, but really. His love is really more on the reflective side of the family rather than um, the refractor side of the family. And so he invited me to come up and take a look at his observatory because he thought that it was kind of a unique kind of a observatory. And I agree totally. And so I'm going to show you some pictures that he sh allowed me to take of his observatory. So the first picture we're going to look at here is his observatory and you notice that it's got a strange and interesting construction on the left end of the observatory and basically what you got is like a wheel like stru structure and believe it or not this is a roll off roof <laughs> and there are two foot extensions that come out on either side with rails and then basically the roof just rolls off and these struts here provide the support for the roof and it I both pushed it in and pulled it out and it's pretty easy to push and pull it wasn't difficult at all which was kind of an amazing thing to me and I'll show some uh, close-up details here. His particular use case was that because this thing is so close to the pool, he didn't want there to be posts that he was going to have to put right next to the pool in order to support a roll-off roof. So he had to come up with a roll-off process or a methodology or a structure here that would allow him to have a roll-off roof and yet not impinge upon the area around his pool. And so I'm trying to remember the size. I want to say that this thing is like uh, 10 by 7 uh, space. It's pretty spacious inside. In fact, let me show you the inside here. Uh, there we go. Here's an inside shot. And here's one of his, um, here's one of his Razas. Um, and you can see it's quite spacious and he has a CGXL mount 
that everything rides on but he's got plenty of space in this uh, observatory and it's fairly lightweight constructed it's a two by four uh, they're not 16 on center he built his 20 on center uh, which for this size structure is perfectly fine and instead of ripping up his pavers and pouring a pad he just decided to go ahead and build on top of his pavers and because he has a CGXL mount he debated about putting it a pier but decided that he would just use his tripod instead and so that's what he has and he says that it works out really really well so the just to give you a sense of what this thing looks like when it's fully opened up here's the basic process here or the basic um, structure here so you've got this lightweight roof and he has a metal roof uh, he's got some uh, corrugated metal sheets that are painted white so that they reflect light um, and that's on top of a 2x4 and a 2x2 two two, uh, structure underneath as well as with some straps and essentially it's a lightweight frame and it's on these stilts with wheels and I'll show a little bit about the wheels the wheels he picked up at Home Depot wasn't anything special and he has a stop block right over here if you see where my cursor is he has a stop block so that it doesn't roll totally off and the rails go out to these extensions but then there's no rail after that and he hasn't had any issues with things jumping off the rails uh, he's basically Ray said that if you build everything square and build everything right it just rolls off and on and you shouldn't have an issue with the rails and sure enough when I pushed it on um, everything just worked seamlessly I was pretty surprised and uh, I think it's left with two or three wheels on the rails so it's already kind of positioned so that it's if you push in from the middle here it just pushes right on in now this is not automated and in any way this is a manual off and on roof and he does have clips on the inside so when he's done observing he closes it up and then goes and clips the roof so that way there's if the if a dust storm comes through which is one of my big concerns uh, the roof isn't going to go anywhere because it's clipped to the body of the observatory itself he says that it works fine and he's had no issues with it and so I have to basically trust him in his reports because he's had this thing for a little while so Here's the basic wheel structure. Again, it's just wheels with a rod and blocks of wood. And you can see more of this particular structure that he's built uh, that the roof sits on when it is extended out. And it's pretty simple. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it. And again, here's the wheels that go onto the rails. And you can see, yeah, there's there are two wheels that are left remaining on the rails which is enough to keep the roof from going left or right it keeps it pretty much centered and again if you push in at the center of the beam here you have no problems the roof just slides right on in I did it myself I was really kind of surprised that it was that easy to roll on in um, Here's what these um, little rails that come out, it's about two feet in length and you can see his wheels right here that are on the rails right there and the rails continue on all the way to the other side of the building and he again he tried to construct this thing fairly lightweight so he's got like two by four slats here that he's used um, not two by four slats um, plywood slats he just 
ripped some plywood strips and he's using them as slats to hold the metal roof and then to hold the roof onto the structure itself. And uh, OSB siding, I mean, it's pretty ingenious. And he actually had this thing set up so that you could remove these uh, side rails if you wanted to. Uh, he had side he has side rails on both sides and his concern was that people might hit that side rail coming across that side of the pool but so he built it so that it could swing inward um, but he's never used it because it hasn't been a problem for people people have been able to move around it quite easily and so here's more roof detail just so you can see how he's got this thing constructed uh, again here's the wheels for the rails and they just I mean I was really impressed this thing just it runs like butter it's just very very smooth Ray did a fantastic job he not only built this for himself but he also built one for another fellow astrophotographer that he knows and a little bit more here here's how the struts that are the legs that support the roof when it's extended out. You can see here that basically this piece of 2 by 4 is joined to the roof um, on a piece of plywood as well as to this 2 by 4 um, edge right there and then he's got another piece of 2 by 4 here which supports this particular leg and then he's got 2 by 4 that stretches across uh, the width of the roof to give additional support to the legs and again when it's all rolled up it looks like that and here's the roof and it rolls right on he's I mean it's it's an ingenious idea and I've never seen anything like this before I've seen a lot of roll-off roofs where they've had to put in post but this little um, method of doing this this is just ingenious and I thought I would just share it with you all so anyways I, I hope you found this somewhat interesting uh, again it's another design that I'm gonna have to ponder about and see if it's something that maybe I might be able to utilize I, I think I'm still gonna go with the garage rails um, but this does give me something to think about and to ponder and to just see if there's something of this that I can take and use in my own observatory build. So if you found any of this to be interesting, um, please give me a thumbs up and like the video. And please, if you want, subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that when other videos come out, you will get notified that I've got new videos out. And until next time, clear skies and happy guiding.